I think decentralization is a tool. It's kind of like a window is a tool. You know, a window lets in light and dissipates heat. And sometimes, you know, if it's on the second floor of a building and the building's on fire, you can escape in a hurry through a window. <laughs> Um, I think a blockchain is a way of decentralizing entitlements, you know, is a way of decentralizing uh, use and, uh, and capture of data, providing for availability of, of data in a way that, um, you know, that, that, that takes away, um, you know, specific power from centralized actors. But it's not always as performance as a centralized database. And it's not always the best, you know, solution for things like workflow. You know, smart contracts are, you know, effective, but you need to execute the same logic on every node to know that something works when you can trust an actor to execute once. So we look at, you know, block, blockchain is a tool like anything else. And I think blockchain is an incredibly important and emergent tool for what is what we're calling Web 3.0. But I don't think it's uniquely Web 3.0. I, th I think what we're looking for is we're looking for, you know, the, the impact of being able to create these feedback loops so that our presence in multiple planes of existence, whether they be online, you know, in Facebook, on LinkedIn, you know, um, you know, through search, you know, as we're being, you know, as we're being fed advertisements, as we're being fed news, et cetera, so that our existence in multiple planes of existence are able to, you know, maximize and track value so that we're, you know, so, so that we're able to be more, uh, more fluid in the way that we're able to receive and process information. You touched on something very interesting. Uh, it goes all the way back to the web being this global supercomputer. And that's sort of what Ethereum is promising for a while now, right? And mm -hmm. I, I think, tying back to what you were saying, we're living in a time where even in the blockchain community itself, you see more and more criticism of what used to be the gods of the past, right? Starting with Bitcoin. Nowadays, people, uh, despite the price being astronomically higher than it used to be just a couple months ago, mm -hmm. you, you see more and more criticism of the mechanisms behind it, below it, and more talk about its limitations. Mm -hmm.